getting new reaction to Hunter Biden's shocking plea with the Department of Justice. He's now agreeing to plead guilty on three federal charges, two misdemeanor counts of failing. Turns out that when he made my application to purchase a, a gun, what happened was he said, I guess you get asked, I don't guess, you get asked the question, are you on drugs, you use drugs? He said no. And he wrote about saying no in right. his book. CNN's Paula Reed starts off our coverage today with a look at what will happen next before this deal is final. President Biden's son, Hunter, reaches an agreement with the Justice Department to resolve a long-running criminal investigation. According to a letter filed Tuesday by federal prosecutors, Hunter will plead guilty to two misdemeanor tax charges and struck a deal to resolve a separate felony gun charge if he complies with his end of the plea agreement. According to court documents, Biden owed at least $100,000 in federal taxes for 2017 and at least $100,000 for 2018, but did not pay the IRS by the deadline. His lawyers say he eventually paid the tax bill along with fees and penalties. As part of this deal, the Justice Department has agreed to recommend a sentence of probation for the tax charges, according to sources, but the final punishment will be up to the judge. On the gun charge, prosecutors allege he possessed a gun despite his addiction in violation of federal law. Biden's lawyers met with the Justice Department in April, and sources tell CNN that negotiations to resolve the case have ramped up in recent weeks. The deal comes after a broad, years-long investigation that also looked at Hunter Biden's foreign deals and possible money laundering. On Capitol Hill, Republicans have been focused on the president's son and his foreign business dealings, but prosecutors haven't charged him on those claims. On Tuesday, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy criticized Hunter's deal. It continues to show the two-tier system in America. If you are the president's leading political opponent, the DOJ tries to literally put you in jail and give you prison time. If you are the president's son, you get a sweetheart deal. Former President Donald Trump posting on Truth Social this morning, wow, the corrupt Biden DOJ just cleared up hundreds of years of criminal liability by giving Hunter Biden a mere traffic ticket. Our system is broken. The Hunter Biden investigation has been overseen by Trump-appointed U.S. Attorney David Weiss. <laughs> President Biden has repeatedly defended his son amid the ongoing investigation. He's established a new life. I'm confident that he is what he says and does are consistent with what happens. For example, he wrote a book about his problems and was straightforward about it. I'm proud of him. Moments ago, Biden's lawyer weighed in on the investigation, calling it dogged but fair. Let's take a listen. This was a five-year, very diligent investigation pursued by incredibly professional prosecutors, um, some of whom have been career prosecutors, one of whom at least was appointed by President Trump. They were very diligent, very dogged. Um, this was, you know, it took five years, and it was five years of work that they put in. Um, and even throughout working out the ultimate resolution, I think that they were always driving for what they thought was fair. We're still waiting for a hearing date to be set, for Hunter Biden to be arraigned and plead guilty. We expect that'll happen in the coming weeks. Jake. All right, Paula Reed, thanks so much. Let's bring in CNN senior legal analyst, Ellie Honig. Ellie, I'm not a lawyer. I have no idea if this plea case, uh, this plea agreement comports with what would happen for the normal person or uh, as Republicans are today insinuating, uh, this is a sweetheart deal. Um, you're a former federal prosecutor. Tell us, is, is this uh, what anybody would get in a similar circumstance or is this a sweetheart deal? Well, Jake, I think first of all, nobody's really in position to know that because we don't know the entirety, what the whole universe was of what DOJ had. If they had evidence of more serious crimes and they failed to follow up or they gave Hunter Biden substantially lesser charges, then yes, it's a sweetheart deal. But if this is all they had that was federally criminally chargeable, 
then no, it's not a sweetheart deal. Now, just to give you one example, a lot of this is a matter of perspective. If we look at the gun charge here, it is exceedingly rare for somebody to be, to be charged with a federal gun crime and given pretrial diversion as Hunter Biden has been given, meaning he doesn't even have to plead guilty. As long as he behaves himself, the charge will go away. On the other hand, the that Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.